What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, trolls and citizens, the JJs and PPs. Let's just get to it. I know you all are hyped for this trailer like I am. The new Dragon Ball Super Superhero Movie Trailer 2022. Let's break this thing down. Okay, so right here I know this Dexter's Lavatory, aka Little Man, aka Little Squeeze, Main Squeeze. Uh, this is, seems like a box, so to speak, of pic pictures, files of what I believe is Red Ribbon Army Associates, maybe. Um, which I'll explain that theory later on, uh, or validate that theory, I should say. These two seem like kind of gag characters like comical characters but they're but they do have important roles maybe um not gag characters like your mom or your mom but like gag characters like comical comedian characters i think this dude is like some kind of talent scout or something like that it's just a vibe i get from him this guy right here mm, he's up to something uh probably sexual Okay, this guy right here, we see him again, but this time he's got like the emo vibes, which is interesting unless that's just an artistic difference because, well, I guess he does kind of have it there. Okay, never mind. Scratch what I said. What's interesting is this signal here. This seems like a new symbol or something of the Red Ribbon Army, um, which he's wearing like Red Ribbon Army merchandise, which is like baller as hell. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. This dude is definitely on his big punt. Now, what's interesting here is we see the blue bottle head, which I believe is probably like the new leader of the Red Ribbon Army. Uh, I assume like this is his car. Um, this is their vehicle. And I believe this guy right here uh, with the oil uh, getting down. Uh, is making a deal with Dexter's Laboratory over here uh, my Kim Chromant. And you see right here, Red Ribbon Army signal, which is interesting because we haven't had to deal with the Red Ribbon Army since the Cell and Android Saga. Interesting, interesting. And I've always, always, always loved the Red Ribbon Army. If you haven't watched the uh, original, Dragon Ball OG Chunky Baby Goku status Dragon Ball. Uh, you're missing out. It's probably, arguably, the the best writing in the franchise. Arguably. An evil organization moving in the shadows. See, this is definitely them. Red Ribbon Army, for sure. And I think this particularly right here, here we go with the talent scout again. My theory here is that if you look to the left of the screen right here, you see all this information. I believe all of this is information on Goku and our the rest of our heroes. And this is them basically sort of going down their history, uh, their power. Um, and I have a feeling that this movie is going to be sort of a three battle possibly two battle movie um and what i mean by that is like three villains almost in a way but two of them might be complex in terms of if they're being looked at as villains i'll explain that a little later um but i believe they've become a threat to space um we've heard this foreshadow with Jacko so many times we've heard this foreshadow with Beerus so many times and I believe it's finally coming to full fruition uh, and I believe that right now this is what they're doing they're analyzing the information and their history and that's why you're getting Vegeta with the bad man outfit <laughs> that's when he was uh, uh, first uh, swoon in Bulma you know getting her hypnotized and then you see them showing Majin Buu again same thing all the information on him Majin Buu t-posing over here striking a pose um, 
And I believe all this is just data. Data on all the all the heroes. Once again, all of us rocking the merchandise, Red Ribbon Army. Again, this dude is older, so he must have been in the past somehow affiliated with the Red Ribbon Army for like a long time. Notice he's eating Oreos over here. You know, representing a biracial love. Oops. Whoa, 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 whoa. My bad. You can see the Red Ribbon Army merchandising again. I believe this is mostly intentional uh, for funniness, but also uh, for Japan and overseas and probably soon here in America. Um, basically merchandise plugging, so to speak. What's interesting though is that this little emo Dexter, he looks like he's wearing like a almost a DC or Marvel outfit kind of suit. <laughs> Hoodie, which is interesting. Like he looks like a superhero almost. Huh. Maybe he's more powerful than we think. I think this is Balma. No, not Balma. Um, the alien force police team uh, flying over the city. Probably going to kill, kidnap, warn our heroes. I don't know. We see him attacking someone here. Obviously, this is number two. Uh, I believe that... There is four, five, or seven of them. I don't remember, but it's a whole force. Two is number two of the strongest level, I think, possibly. On the ranks, maybe? I don't know. We will see. And we see Baby Pan right here, flexing on muscles, making sure you know what time it is. Uh, GTH, I believe that's like Mr. Satan's tag, right? I forget, I don't remember. But I think Pan right here is like 10 or 9. I wonder if she's going Super Saiyan. Right here we see Goku training in the other world. This is obviously Beerus's world, I believe. Notice the purple sky, sort of violet, pink sky. Tan in a way, actually more tan. And then right here we see Piccolo being stru struck by a bunch of power beams, possibly. This is why I'm, I have my theory on the that alien force uh, possibly planning to annihilate them. Um, because this isn't Frieza or Broly or anyone else. And I'll explain why later why I think that. Right here you see that ex same explosion. And this part particularly is interesting because this is either and this is where my memory fails me but this is either Chi Chi or Majin Buu's house if this is Majin Buu you know it would correlate uh, to them gathering information on Majin Buu it's possible that Piccolo being the smart one very very smart uh, somehow stuck new to hang with Majin Buu or you know, possibly connect with him somehow. You know, that's my theory anyway. Shut up. So you see this explosion right here. And then like trailer trickery, these are not the same scenes because you see the blue grass here. This is Beerus' world. Beerus and Lisa's world. And you also see the violet purple trees, Barris and Barris and, and Booty, Barris and Weiss's world, um, and also what's super super lit is Goku is either training or fighting with Broly, dude. Look at this. This is Broly. Right there. How? How, how, how? And the fact that he's on Lord Bears and Weiss's planet? Dude, come on. What's going on? I need to be down at the Toei Animation Studios right now. 
I don't care what it takes. Make it happen. Make it so. This is gonna be lit. This is gonna be lit. This this might be lit, bro. This this might be that movie. This might be that movie. It looks like Goku's more having fun, but then again, Goku has fun fighting anyway. So they could either be training or in a real fight. But interesting enough, he's on Beerus and Whis's planet. Interesting. Interesting. And we see the trickery again, not the same scene. He's not looking down at that. I believe he's looking down at Piccolo. Hence, if you go back to his gun, in my opinion, it looks like he's actually holstering it. Like he was hold, like he just put it back in his holster. I believe he was shooting at Piccolo. And I believe this is that same scene. And I believe somehow, some way, Piccolo gets defeated here, probably. That's probably what we see here. He probably gets shocked by some kind of attack. The man goes down, probably. I mean, that's it for that trailer, right? Yeah, and then we get them T-posing over here, getting their freak on, dabbing like it's you know tomorrow. Get this guy here again, the model scout. Anyway, uh, you see Hercule as well. See, again, they would only have Hercule there if if it's all database. And knowing the history of like big calamities and big battles happening, and Hercule was part of the Kid Boo. Uh, the Kid Boo massacre, the Kid Boo battle. So it would make sense that he would be on there too. Um, I'm excited for this. I'm excited. Uh, I can't wait to see what Toei has in store. Um, the animation, like I said, I'm 50 50 with it. Uh, I like the creative part of me goes. You know, that re rebellious sort of, oh, we're going to do it our way and try something new. You know, that part of me loves that. But then the other side, you know, sort of wants to see a 2022 version of the classic Dragon Ball style that we all know. Um, but nonetheless, I'm still really excited for the story. Red Ribbon Army. I, I, I love the Red Ribbon Army. That's one of my favorite arcs in the world. Um, and the fact that they're coming back usually always means shit's gonna get real. Um, and uh, I have a feeling this movie is gonna be really great story-wise, uh, especially. And I hope we get to see great battles. I mean, Dragon Ball usually never fails with that. But anyway, if you like this video, dislike it. If you hated this video, like it. And let me know what you feel about this trailer in the comments below. I'm saying Lee. Don't twerk your way out of this one. Peace.